Stay tuned for my top five flipping rights. following lists are my top five flipping rights. This is a genre of games that includes the flipping of cards and deciding how to use those cards to write on a sheet, which determines your score. I have already shared my top 10 roll and rights, which are using dice instead of cards. Please see the link below. But right now, let's get to my top five flipping rights. There's lots of fun to be found on the game table. My number five is Next Station London. I play this game on Board Game Arena. It's similar to Railroad Inc. where you're connecting pathways but with cards, not dice. In the game, you are redesigning the London Underground system. As cards are flipped, you must use those to create the best connection lines while striving to have lots of intersections and tourist locations visited. The game plays in four quick rounds where each is a different metro system and color. Your score determines whether you know the underground like the back of your hand or not. My number four is Silver and Gold, published in 2019. This game is for two to four players, but it can be played solo by using a solo variant found on Board Game Geek. It takes about 15 minutes to play. In Silver and Gold, you're exploring to gain the most points. This is done by turning over shapes and using those shapes to mark off spaces on your treasure cards. You gain points by completing cards, as well as gaining bonus points for certain spaces marked off during that process. My number three is Cartographers, published in 2019. In Cartographers, you are challenged to gain the most reputation points by setting off and mapping out the northern lands according to which lands the queen desires most. This is done over four seasons. During turns, cards are flipped over with different shapes and types. These must be mapped onto your sheet while trying to meet certain goals that give bonus points. You also must watch out for ambushes, which can take hard-earned points away if not dealt with. Excellent fun, and if using colored pencils instead of the standard pencils in the box, it is great to see your colorful maps at the end. And my number two is Welcome To, published in 2018. Welcome To is a super addictive game to play on Board Game Arena, since the flipping and writing is all done for you, making it easy to play again and again. However, it is still up to you to make the best use of the cards flipped in order to gain the most points. Where should you build a fence to gain bonus points for completing city plans? Should you build a pool or a park? Or should you skip the pool and build a house over here or should it be over there? The options during the game are plenty, making each game unique and always a challenge to get the best score ever. And my number one flip and write is the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw, published in 2021. I love the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw. In the game, you must rescue as many cats as possible onto your boat before the evil Vesh Dark Hand destroys the island and hence the cats. The cats are found in all different shapes and you must try to fit them as neatly as possible onto your ship, filling up complete rooms with as many same colored cats as possible while eating all the rats on board and fulfilling other goals for gaining points. In the solo game, you compete against an Otama player, striving to complete your goals for the most points while at the same time not creating points for that player who will win if they gain more. Lots of fun fitting challenging shaped cats onto your boat. I just love it. So there you have my top five flipping rights. Thanks for watching.